Welcome to the Canyon of the Dead, scored in a very sort of gothic rock style way by JD Herrera. And something really cool about this map that I actually uh, really like is that, as you can see, it starts in a very similar looking sort of tech base to what we're used to, but it opens up into, you guessed it, a big canyon. And that's a really cool way to uh, introduce the new visual motif of the next few maps. It's a really cool sort of transition remap that shows off where we're going to go. This is another thing I think is really cool. See these imps are slowly lowering at different times. Uh, me sort of s playing slowly to try and show it off has got me into a lot of trouble here. That was it. That was a really cool double kill. Oh, but yeah, the way these imps on these pillars lowered at just slightly different times to each other rather than coming all down at once. It's actually a really cool gimmick that uh, not a lot of maps use that I'm aware of or remember. I mean, here it's used to really, really simple effect, but I think it could be really cool to do that and have like a progressively higher tiers of enemies, you know, like Imp, Hell Knight, Revenant, Archvile, you know, and make it a bit slower so it sort of builds suspense. It'd be really cool. All right, now this is kind of like baby's first infight speaking of combat scenarios like I understand these maps were made for players of all skill levels but these monsters are just begging to infight each other this is like mom can we please infight well all right you've been good this week I guess you can have a bit of an infight this time and no I'm not making that joke just for fun I'm doing it to uh to take up a bit of time while I deliberately don't shoot because when I do shoot, a whole nother monster closet to my left will awaken. There we go. And there's quite a few hit scanners in there and my health isn't all that great. So I just wanted to uh, let those guys over there take care of each other a bit. Because with all the Hell Knights and Revenants flooding in here at once when you're fighting them, it's very doable of course, but you know, I'm just in for a casual session of Doom right now. I'm not all about going like, Ooh, rah, rah. oh my god. Well, I say that, and then wait till we get outside to the canyon. I may have to. What was the... Did they double kill each other? Was I just not watching a really awesome double kill moment? I think so. They're dead. Damn, if only I'd have seen that. That's, that's awesome. They double killed each other off camera. Gotta love it. Alright, let's go to the canyon. So we have two ways to go. There, we're here. And I think going here. Also, fun fact that means absolutely nothing, this map has the same number of kills as items. <laughs> you don't see that very often, and it doesn't matter whatsoever, but it's still fun to note. Right, yeah, so there's an asshole meatball coming. We'll just let him get a bit closer, and when he does show himself, try and stun him into not flooding the canyon with lost souls. But here we go, we're outside in the canyon, so we're leaving the tech base behind. And this is a really cool way to show off the new visual motifs of the next few maps, you know. Give you a sense of adventure and exploration just simply by changing your map geometry up a little bit as you go and trans transitioning really nicely. Right now, this secret you would normally only know is there by sort of seeing this from down this side of the canyon later in the map. And sort of being able to guess that, oh, there must be a way through. I've played this map before, so I just knew immediately. Now the question is, do I hang... Cacodemons should start teleporting in, actually. Yeah, like that. I think it's the ones that I just woke up. They enter a teleporter. The other thing you can do, of course, is fight them through the secret door. They should be just gathering there. As they tend to do. They think he's there. Quick, through this wall. Eh, doesn't work, fellas, I'm afraid. If only they could open the door. Okay, here, this one's smart. See, they can do it sometimes. You figured it out, guys. I've got a novel idea. Let's go around the wall. You're crazy. Well, he was, because I killed him. You're nearly dead. Thank you. And then there was one more, wasn't there? Yes. My memory is on point today. So, let's move on in a sec. And yeah, it might be a little bit tedious for me to hang around just sort of slowly cleaning them up. But the canyon can get a little bit hectic if you sort of forget exactly how to approach it. Uh, there's a revenant here, and look, more cacodemons still, and now lots of pinkies as well. So it's actually, see, and there's a pinky behind me now. Let's uh, escape through another secret door. Thank god I know it's there. So, okay, cheaping them all out at the top of that stairs is a bit cheap, even for me. So let's jump 
down into the canyon again. But yeah, there's a lot of pinkies and cacodemons out here, and they really take up a lot of space. It's a cool arena. It's an arena fight style. That, hmm, that's annoying to me that that managed to loop all the way around. I'm annoyed at myself for not calculating that it would. But yeah, cool arena style map. Uh, the Canyon of the Dead is an arena. The arena of the dead. The Canyon-esque dead arena. And yeah, I remember I sort of played this map semi-blind just the other day to uh, jog my memory on where all the secrets are and how you approach it, that kind of thing. And uh, I came out into the canyon forgetting about how hectic it can get. And I made for actually a really thrilling playthrough. I didn't die. I just was running around with a single barrel shotgun like this, like a madman, just managing to cling on for dear life. And I was thinking afterwards, I'm like, damn, I really wish I'd just been recording this run. So I deliberately waited a couple of days to record this in the hopes that maybe I'd sort of forgotten a couple of things and make it a bit more thrilling again. But as you can see, I remember it pretty well. And that's a sign of a good map, I would say. But you can play it a couple of days later and still remember everything about it. It's a good map. Uh, now, I'm just remembering that what it would have been cool to do is go for a run and grab the rocket launcher and the super shotgun early and make for a more sort of, you know, arena-style battle, like I'm saying, rather than just this sort of clean-up. But I've sort of left that all a bit too late now. But here's the super shotgun. Uh, that Arachnotron there. Let's just go and get him in his face. Uh, with this, I guess if I'm going to shoot him in his face. Excuse me, block map. Oop. This is an odd place to be trying to duck into. There we go. This is a good map design showing you where you need the yellow key, but actually that will cause you to miss a secret. You want to jump down to where these imps were, because here is a secret. A little bit obscure, this one, I have to say. Uh, now I can go down here again. And whoops. Uh, I want to actually jump to the yellow key this time. The yellow key door. And there's yet another secret to go and grab. There's a little teleporter in here. Which takes us up here. And that raises some steps to the final secret. So while those steps are raised, actually, let's go get the rocket launcher. Which is just here. Pretty important. For the end of this map. Because we're not just done with the whole Canyon of the Dead thing. There is one more sort of visual transition to go. Also, I forget how to get... Oh, you just walk to them. Yeah, I would like those rockets. Um, so the stairs I'm talking about are here, jump across to here, you get a kill and mega armor. A little bit annoying that they make you go on a damaging floor for it, but oh well. Not too bad. This guy's guarding the gate, let's open it, and let's storm the green hell temple. Yes, look at me storm. This is one hell of an ambush. That I'm springing on these guys. Oh, you get lots of rockets in here. I forgot about that. Should just start using them. Well, except this guy's getting a bit close. Haha. -ha. Your own imps killed you. Okay, see, that's what I mean about being a bit too close. And yeah, there's just a couple of cheeky imps hanging around up here that just need to be taught a lesson. Is there a box of shells that I keep not grabbing? And then one last big wall. The toughest quote-unquote fight of the map, but nothing a few rockets to the face won't fix, basically. Just like that. Couldn't have gone any more simply. One last kill. Guess who? An imp. There we go. Canyon of the Dead. That's a cool map. Uh, I really like the transition from tech base into arena-style battle, like I'm saying. Cool visuals, just like this WOD always has, and now we're getting into the slightly more hellish maps in No Rest for the Living. Cool MIDI track by JD Herrera as well, by the way. This MIDI pack rules, as does this WOD. Until next time, peace.